Hi everyone, I've just come to explain the March and April craft swap this month and before I get all the examples out to show you I thought I'd put something pretty here for you to look at while I go through and this was made for me um, last year by MJ and uh, there is a video um, on my channel showing you this complete rack that MJ sent me uh, we've done an album swap and she put loads of extras in and she made me this which is absolutely gorgeous so I'm just gonna put that there so you can look at something pretty while I go through the swap now we used to do monthly swaps over at Sue's Craft Club uh, we now do two months worth of swaps together with the same craft partner that way we save on the shipping so instead of doing a january and a february swap with two different people and come you know two shippings we now we still do two swaps but we do them with the same partner and we send all the stuff together so a uh, january and february swap is on my channel if anyone wants to have a look at that and march and april swap I'm just going to go through for all the ladies who are who are going to sign up for it, who are in Sue's Craft Club. If you're interested in any of the swaps and you're not in Sue's Craft Club but you'd like to know about it, just PM me and I'll send you all the details over. Right, I just go through the March April craft swap. It's two swaps. The March swap is a stuffed envelope we have this every year usually in february and it gets a massive sign up everyone's always it's a very popular swap because not only do the crafters like doing it the non-crafters or the beginners love to do this as well and the stuffed on the stuffed envelope not to be confused with the loaded envelope is as follows you get an envelope and you stuff it with as much craft products as you can stuff into it and you spend about five pound and the equivalent to uk five pound in usa is six dollars 25 cents and the equivalent in canada is eight dollars 16 cents so you spend round about that doesn't matter if it's a little bit over or slightly under but round about the five the five pound mark or your equivalent um once you've met the five pound mark if you want to stuff the envelope with stuff out out of your own craft stash you can after you've met the amount of new product okay so you can't just get five pounds worth of your stash and stick it in it's got to be new products and um what i always suggest to the ladies buy as much as you can with the said amount by trawling the bargain bins reduce uh, stock past launch date bargains half price sales specials three for tours and buy one get one free offers also very often after a celebration themed craft stock is knocked down considerably for example after christmas easter valentine's and halloween to name a few um you can you know if you go a few days after these celebrations the stuff's normally half price you can buy that and stick it in your box till the uh, stuffed envelope swap comes round, and then you'll have a good selection uh, you are only allowed to put no more than one of any theme in your envelope so you can't just fill it with all christmas stuff that you bought a couple of weeks ago all half price you can only put one christmas thing in but you can also um you know you you can do any theme you can put one valentine one christmas one halloween but have some all the year round stuff as well now i'll show you an example of what i'm going to put in my stuffed envelope swap which is the march swap first of all i picked up this and as i say it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit over that's your choice okay it's not a stipulation that you go over five pounds that's your choice if you do that and i don't mind going over, going over a little bit but i'm not suggesting that everyone does that you just pay around five pounds or your equivalent now the first thing that i'm putting in um just zoom in a little bit this is a, a stamp set by hunky dory 
and uh, it's got all I'm trying to think uh, special gifts this is called and it's showing you all the different types like you know big parcels big hat box uh, different gifts and then we've got um, some sentiments make a wish birthday wishes for you with love my friend then we've got some some vines and flowers um, a big flower with a butterfly in the middle a little frame here and that's the ideal size for these little tiny sentiments for you birthday wishes make a wish here I haven't got my glasses on um, oh, I think it's a poem a little stamped poem long box hat box gift box all flowers and decorations and sentiments and that's from hunky dory so i'll be putting that in um i never go to asda and i, I didn't realize they done i used to occasionally go in for the cardstock they used to sell a uh, reasonable packets of cardstock then they stopped doing them and I very rarely go in anyway someone on youtube i can't think of a name she was showing all kinds of stuff that she got from asda now i'm not plugging them but i just happened to nip in and i've got this uh they had a full aisle of um craft stuff and a lot of it would do crafts and paper mania they've really expanded but quite like this it's a uh, make your own keyring um kit and you get all the key rings, the keychains, and then all die cut foams. Um, haven't opened it, obviously, I wouldn't open it. It's brand new, it's getting sent to someone, but apparently, you get all the stuff there too. And it's showing three key rings, so oh, yeah, so it makes three, and you'll probably have some stuff left over because that's like a really stuffed packet. So, that's a little key ring kit. And then also in Asda was this three rolls of decorative, uh, they call it decorative tape, like three thick rolls of washi. And they're seven, 7.6 metres long and you're getting three of those. And they're the designs. So you're getting them. They're from Asda. Make your own curing set. The Hunky Dory stamp set. Um, this gorgeous 4x4 four hundred page paper pack i'll just go through let me move them out the way um lovely colors so and lovely you get all the red and white polka dots then you get the patterns the stripes more patterns than the plain colors then you get yellow and again, stripes, polka dots, patterns, flowers, and then blues. Greens. So you're getting a section of those four colours. Red. Red, yellow, green and blue. So like the primary colours, you're getting 100 sheets and you get five, five of 20 designs and in each sex section you more or less get the same you know blank colors polka dots stripes and all that that's a hundred pages so i'll be popping one of those in um and then here is a do crafts by paper mania and it's uh, an A5 stitch uh, decoupage medley card kit. And that's the front cover. Ooh, sorry. And it's packed with quite a lot of stuff in there. So it's like a sewing, a sewing themed card kit. And you get quite a bit in there. So you get the full kit. Putting the kit in of that. and i'll put either one or the other of these uh ones are do crafts uh santa stamp quite a big stamp of santa 
or I'll put uh, Do Crafts by Paper Mania, A Christmas Wish of all those tags and you get two sheets of that so I'll put one or the other but basically that's what I'll be sticking in my uh, stuffed envelope swap so that's the March stuffed envelope swap now let me clear this away and I'll, oops sorry I just going to go through the April swap now just uh, reading it all off now this the April swap is a, a loaded envelope, envelope swap and there's mine right now basically this is a long business type envelope and you snip the top off and you fold it one third in and you snip the top off of that so you're left with two open tiers alternatively if that's too flimsy you can make a large business envelope out of cardstock and do the same snip the very top off here fold it one third in and snip the top here so you're left with two tiers or you can do what I did which is make a, a, a gusseted pocket there and then a stuck on top of it another gusseted pocket and let me measure that for you the large one is about six inches long and the little one is about three inches and going across it's four inches so I've made mine the large tier six inches the smaller tier three inches and four inches going across right let me go through it uh, you to put in at least seven handmade items and the hand handmade items can be decorated paper clips covered notebook handmade coasters decorated tags handmade mini cards mini envies one page mini altered clothes peg or clothes pin uh, that list's not exhaustive and there's to be a maximum of two of the same thing totaling at least seven items i've put a few more than seven again that's your choice the stipulation is seven if you want to put a few more than seven that's fine um, only two of the same thing so don't stick seven tags in and that's your, your lot um, when you've made your, your two tier envelope or gusted pockets decorate it um, I actually got this this is wrapping paper one of my Christmas gifts off, off pen pal of mine Jill she sent me the Christmas her Christmas gift to me in this paper and I thought that's lovely I'm going to save that for something I don't normally save Christmas wrapping paper but I like that so much and it came in brilliantly to back this and then I put some uh, glittered washi here I put some other glittered washi here I've done a big diamond rhinestone brad there and I've punched some flowers out and put some little pearls on and stuck them on here these are all not included in in the my seven items they're all handmade but they're not included in the seven items they're just included in the decoration of the uh loaded on the but um they could just peel all these off and reuse them all again if they wanted or they can empty the envelope and send it on to someone else with other gifts in if you're a beginner or you um a craft admirer but you're not very confident in making the stuff you can still join in this swap and load it with seven shop bought items okay let's go through uh what i've made i've made two paper clips i've got a pink paper clip here and i've got a paper rose 
and I've glittered it completely all over. Let me put it under the light. Is it picking it up? I'm not sure. But that's uh, a pink paper clip with the paper rose and the glittered. And this is a blue paper clip with a gorgeous blue satin, double satin bow on that. So there's two of my seven items. Right. What's Oh, that's just a little tag. Um, whoever I give it to. Made with love from Sue to whoever I'm drawn with in the swap. Um, also in this little pocket, let me go through it. This was um, a gorgeous girl bunting. Now you're meant to get some string, stick all these gorgeous girls on these uh, bunting flags and thread it through the string and hang it up. Um, I bought this for decoration purposes only. I had no intentions of making the bunting, but I wanted the gorgeous girl images. So what I did, I folded the triangle up and glued it together because you thread the string through. I glued those two together. I've stuck um, dimensionals on the back and I've popped the gorgeous girl on the front. So if anyone wants to make a card or a project that, needs a gorgeous scale that's what they can use i put all the dimensionals ready for them to stick on their card or their scrapbook inside the little tier let me just <clears throat> excuse me undo this unwrap it very quickly um you're only meant to put two of each item and these are little handmade journal cards but because they're quite small i made more than two um, but I'm just counting it as one of, my, one of my seven. So I wrapped it up in nice tissue. And I'll just go through. Uh, I made these with a Kane Company washi tape, smash tape. I've cut them and backed them onto the white cardstock. And I've stamped journal on the back. And that's one smash tape it is two that's the other one and journal on the back again and then that one and those two and those five whoops upside down those five are just counting as one of one of my seven and then there's the bag decorated they can reuse all these and the big white ribbon and that's a big grindstone brad and uh, in the top tier I've made two ta uh, tags blue with yellow double satin ribbon and this is a glittered image foiled image should I say and this image and the little sentiment they're all hunky dory they were out of a hunky dory uh, topper set, so just put the nice little gold ki uh, cat, and it says "Forever Friends." And I've just trimmed the bottom with some blue and white polka dot washi, and that's one gift tag. And this is the second one, made with blue cardstock and the yellow ribbon again. And these foiled toppers are out of hunky dory. The toppers and the sentiments sweet memories so that could go in a, an album and I finished it off with the washi so that's two of those and then in here is a 3x4 UK A7 envelope and to take the plainness I put some blue and white polka dot washi and then on the back I put <coughs> excuse me a little foiled <coughs> heart up from hunky dory I've put the double sided tape ready and inside I've made a little card and these again are all hunky dory toppers. Thinking about you and I've trimmed it with some pearls and that's a little card. It's two two colours, it's like an orange on the top and salmon -y pink in the middle and it's the same with the envelope. It's 
salmon one side and orange the other and that's a card and an envelope so that's two handmade items so that pops in there and then last but not least I'll just unwrap this nicely wrapped little parcel and inside I've made with the blue cardstock and then I've put a gold, uh, sorry, the gold kitten was on the tag. This is a pink kitten and then I've made three handmade flowers at the bottom and I've put some uh, pearls on top and I've just put some frill on the bottom and some blue ribbon. So that's a little notebook quite a few pages that's the back so um that's that's the stuffed sorry that's the loaded envelope part of the swap and this is the stuffed envelope part of the swap so imagine getting all that in the post that would surely be some nice happy mail <laughs> So if you want to take part in the March, April uh, craft swap, that's a stuffed envy and a loaded envy. And um, that these are examples of what can go in each one. If you need any details about Sue's Craft Club, get in touch with me. And the ladies who are in Sue's Craft Club, if you've got any inquiries, post them on the inquiry thread over on the craft page. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.